we doing today? It is so nice and sunny outside. I've been up since 5 a.m. It's already been a really long day, but you know, I'm feeling great. Feeling like I want to try on a part of my closet for you guys again. Like I said on my last video, I have a ton of stuff to do today. So much to try on. But before we even get to that, guys, fit check. <gasps> like my fit today, I think it's very summer. Also guys, I got my nails done for $35. What? Anyways, my grandma's necklace, I think from H&M. This top is thrifted, you guys saw it on my last video. These are my three bracelets that I wear like every single day. They're from my local crystal store. This ring, I got it at a vintage market, I guess you could call it. This one I got in a Depop bundle. This one I got at a little market in Arizona. Um, this I also got in a Depop bundle. Shorts are, I believe, Paxson. Yeah, Paxson. Those are my custom converse. I got boba before this because I knew this would be a long video. We're starting today off with cardigans, guys. Yay! I'm just in such a good mood, guys. This was such good boba. And there was this really hot guy at the boba place. And we made our contact and I was like... And he was like... And I walked out. This first cardigan I bought in Italy at a little market. If you're wondering why I talk about Italy so much, it's because I studied abroad there for a year. So like it was the most recent year of my life, so a lot of my clothes are from there. It's like this little knit cardigan thing. I will say it does confuse me a little bit because there's this thing here and it seems like it's supposed to attach to the other side, but it didn't come with another side. So I just kind of tie it like that. I might cut it one day, but I kind of like how it's just like this little hanging thing. It is cropped, which like at first I hated, but now I like really like, cause I think the whole like layered look kind of looks fun. It's got these like flare sleeves. It's like super lightweight, but also can give me a little bit of warmth. If you are a fellow Swifty, I'm sure you recognize this one. This one is the Taylor Swift. This is the Evermore cardigan. Um, Evermore is like my favorite Taylor Swift album. Unpopular opinion, but anyone who disagrees needs to kindly calm down, sit down, and because it's the best. I love the stars on this. It's so comfortable. It's so boyfriend. Like look at how off the shoulder it is. Like Taylor was so boyfriend when she created this cardigan. I'm obsessed with this. This next one is this basic like little white cardigan. It's like kind of a good length. It's just like if I need a little warmth, but it's also pretty like nice so I can wear it somewhere nice, but also it's pretty casual at the same time. It's very versatile. The brand, this is a bound teacher mother, the little buttons. This is this cute little like dark tur turquoise cardigan. It's very grandpa or grandma. The brand is like Barclay or Barsley, Barsley, Barsley. Slay, slay. I don't know how to say it all. I think I said this in my last video, but this was my, it was my grandfather's and it was passed it down to my mother. And then I took it from her <laughs> because it's so cute. We're moving on to button ups now. I actually thrifted this very recently because um, I needed another like beachy kind of cover up thing that I could just like wear over the bikini. This is got this like pattern. I think it's pretty beachy because the colors. The one thing I do not like about it is because these are um, French cuffs, I forget what they're called. Instead of being like this, they're like this, and there's no button, so you have to use, I'm not sure the names of it, you have to use one of those clothing pins. I mean, it's fine. I think I thrifted this two summers ago. It's very similar to the last thing, except for it's short sleeve. And it's got a little bit more color, it's got some orange in there. It's not my favorite thing in the world, and I never really, wear it so I'll keep it because it's like a nice just like basic to have but again it's not my favorite thing in the world the pattern clashing that's happening right now i'm speechless what the fuck two different planets happening on one body this is flannel but it's a little bit more tight like less oversized i believe this is actually size extra small this is from the brand cloth and stone i think she got this locally um, it's very soft and comfortable. It's very fall. It's very like autumn girl, like Taylor Swift pumpkin spice. I just thrifted this probably about a month ago and it's got this like floral pattern on it. It's kind of sheer, but not like, um, it's very soft and lightweight and comfortable. I just haven't reached for it for some reason. It could be like a nice, nicer top. Like if I wanted to go out, if I was going out to somewhere fancy or if I was doing something related to my work, but it's definitely like something I want to reach for more. Also, I feel like it could be kind of slutty if you put like a cute bralette under and then buttoned it up. 
getting more ideas. I'm in the process of trying to sell this one right now. Nobody has bought it yet. It's on my Depop and Poshmark if you're interested. Um, it's got these like cute little cuffs. I will say it's like slightly tight on me here on my arm. Very girly, very orange. I just don't think this looks too well on my skin complexion, which I know is like stupid of me to say. I just think it's too close to my skin color and so like we just don't clash very well. It is on my Depop and Poshmark. Actually, I think it's in a bundle on those, but if you're interested in just this one, message me because I'll put up this up for you. This is a hand-me-down and it's, so it's crazy I still have it. This is my sister's, my older sister's. The color palette is totally not something I would wear, which is interesting because I do wear a lot of black. It's just not something I like ever reach for. I don't know if this will sell very well though because it's old navy and it's not like a lot of people buy that brand. But you know what, I might keep this in my closet and if somebody wants to buy it, let me know. Brands like old navy don't sell very well, which is stupid because old navy is goaded occasionally, so. Anyone else have that experience where it's like you go into an old navy store, you see nothing, like everything's so batshit ugly. Then you go into a thrift store and you find the cutest stuff and you go to check the brand and it's old navy. So like why does that happen? At some point in this video I will be putting my long sleeve shirts on, I just really don't want to right now. But I'm not forgetting about them, just don't want to try them on. Now we're gonna do like nicer jackets and blazers. I might start crying. This jacket has so many memories attached to it. It is this dark brown leather jacket that I got vintage in Rome. It's got so many cute pockets. It's like oversized, but not too oversized. It's heavy, but it's super warm. It's warmer than my winter coat. And it still smells like cigarettes. <laughs> I'm never getting rid of this. Even if I grow out of it, I'm never getting rid of it. I love blazers. They make you look so hot and like, like a businesswoman. Okay, but anyway, this is too tight on my arms. It's too small. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to let this one go. It's just a regular old black blazer from Forever 21. I'm actually just gonna donate this probably to my cousin. Get all of our hair down that are too small. This one is sick as fuck because it's leather. So going out. I love it so much. This is so fun to style, and I think this is from Zara. Also, sorry if you can hear the construction, it's like literally always happening. That's two zip ups. This is a good one. I have two zip ups that aren't gonna be here. It's my Lululemon, which is like a great oversized one. I wanna keep them both. They're just dispersed in my tennis bag somewhere. This first one has this red zip up, and I don't have anything in red basically besides this and like one shirt. So it's nice to have something red. I think red actually looks really good on me, which is ironic because I have none of it. I thrifted this a little while ago. It's just a zip up. This is my Viking zip up. It's actually like kind of cute. Whenever I wear it, I get compliments on it. It's a little bit more fleecy and like warm that I can wear for summer, but it's from the brand. I can't read that backwards. Cotto. This is my grandma's old zip up. I actually got a lot of my zip ups from my grandma because she was giving away like pretty much all of her old clothes because she lost like so much weight. Um, because she was just like at that age where she just like literally wasn't moving. She got rid of like pretty much everything in her house and her closet. So I took a lot of zip ups because I was like, zip ups are expensive and I don't have that many. So I have a lot of her zip ups. But this one says Illinois nature or master naturalist. She uh, was a master naturalist, I guess. I don't know. She was a communications major. That doesn't really make much sense to me, but this is my mom's fleece. It, um, I don't know. It's my mom's. I took it from her, the zipper's broken, but it's really comfortable. And it smells like my mom. I thrifted this for about two bucks. This is probably like the most like trendy zip I found. It's giving like, it looks kind of Randy Melville-esque. It's actually Zara Men, which is kind of interesting to me. The hoodie is like reversed. This one I wear less for warmth and more for like, oh, I want something cute. I ordered this from Amazon, I know, I know, like two or three years ago because I wanted to like, the gilded like Amazon fleeces were like really trendy I think two years ago and brown was my favorite color and still is so I ordered this cup, this one and I think it's like either men's or women's because I ordered like a size small and it obviously fits fine but it's definitely more like fitted and like I like a sweatshirt to me because it's just like, just, you know? But I like it, so, like I'll wear it if I need something that's like more fitted. 
Okay, my clean lady is vacuuming right now and also my phone's gonna die so I figured I would pick back up on this in a couple hours. Also guys, doesn't my hair look so good right now? Like what? Do you see that? I didn't even condition it. Okay. Guys, be honest. Would you be mad if I told you that it's been like four days since I filmed the last clip? Would you guys be mad about that? Well, I just wanted to try on a couple more sweatshirts for you guys. I still have my sweaters and hoodies to try on, but I'm not doing that today because I don't have much time right now. It's ironic that I'm doing this because it is in fact 110 degrees here right now. It's the hottest day of the summer, literally. I had to play tennis this morning. I literally played an hour and a half match because we just kept I don't even want to talk about it guys. I don't even want to talk about it. Next sweatshirt is also like a three quarter zip situation. I believe I thrifted this maybe four or five years ago when I first got into thrifting and I was thrifting really ugly shit. I don't know if you guys remember like 20, I think it was 20, 2019, 2018, like those poopy jackets that Emma Chamberlain was wearing like made those trend. I never bought one. I didn't even watch her videos at the time, I think. I think I just saw that stuff like through social media. But this kind of reminds me of that in like a weird way. It's got this like very soft pattern. It's actually very thin, but it still manages to be warm. So yeah, I don't really wear it that much, especially like not really out, but I would wear this like around my house and stuff. Like I find myself throwing this on a lot. That is it for zip ups. Next would be hoodies and sweaters, except for I am not doing that right now because it is so hot in this house and outside. So I will not be partaking in that. Guys, I want to say I have been filming this video in very small increments because it is exhausting to film. I know. Also straight hair. What well, kind of? So pookies. The game plan today. After today ends, I want to try on all my sweaters. I don't want to do hoodies right now. I'm not in the We're not doing hoodies. We're just not gonna do hoodies at all. I looked through them, there aren't enough that aren't like school sweatshirts or something like that. So we're just not, we're down. I'm sorry. If you were like strapped into the hoodies, like no hoodies. I'm not showing you guys a fit because I am in fact going to tennis in like 30 minutes. Also my entire family's home. That's why I'm kind of talking quieter than usual. Let's start. Oh guys, it is not sweater season yet. Let me just tell you that this is the first sweatshirt. It's this like orange and blue kind of pattern. It's actually like my school colors. It's like big as fuck. I don't know if I love it, but you know, it's so soft. Like it's so soft. When it gets really cold in the winter, this is a good sweater to pull out as much as I dislike it. I strongly believe that everyone and their mother should own a cape sweater. Cause it's like a very basic white sweater. It's comfortable. Actually, this one's kind of itchy, but typically they're comfortable. This is the brand new Malvo one. Um, I bought it like back in December when I needed a good cable on sweater. It's super oversized. Cool really good like basic sweater to have. Like even if you're not into sweaters, like a cable on sweater is like everyone should have a good cable on sweater. This one I thrifted like two years ago. It's super fun and funky, but I like never reach for it anymore. Like, it was cool in the moment, but now I feel like this is a good one to sell. But it's really pretty pattern. I thrifted this probably like two or three years ago, like during like the big argyle print trend. I thought this was like really pretty at the time. It's definitely very like dark academia vibes. I wanted to give this to like my sibling, but they didn't want it. So it is like super comfortable though. I just will like never reach for this and never wear it to school. I feel like everyone owned a variation of this sweater over the last year, I feel like the green striped sweater was very in. I don't think it was this exact one because I thrifted this and it reminded me of like the popular one. Um, I actually got this for like two bucks. It's nice, it's very comfortable. It's like super cute and it's still pretty trendy. Like this is like a timeless piece, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one. This is kind of similar to the first one I showed you guys, but it's in gray. This one's a little bit itchy. It's not like my most comfortable sweater. It is a nice like little basic to have. In fact, I think I wore this on the first day of school last year. No freshman year, which is crazy to think about. Like I wore a sweater. Oh, it's so insecure. This next one, guys, I can't even remember when I thrifted this. I think I thrifted this in 2020, so about three years ago. It's a pretty basic sweater. It's just like, it's not really quite argyle print. It's just kind of like a print, big oversized comfy sweater. And like, who doesn't need that? I think this is cute. It kind of Gilmore Girls-like. This is so like 2021. I keep saying it like that. 
but this is so like when I was into like all that like cute cottage core stuff. The mushroom earrings, it's giving that vibe. Actually, I definitely wore this with mushroom earrings. It's actually like huge on me, like it's so big. So whenever I would wear it, I would wear the sleeves. It's very like game or cool. It's like a really cool design. I just feel like I never wear it. This is very, very similar to the green one, except for it's blue. Um, But something about this, like I don't like it as much. It's just kind of ugly. You know what I'm saying? I can never reach for this. So I think it's gonna have to go. I'm sure if I mentioned this, but everything that I said I would be getting rid of it in this video. Star XOXO Vintage. Poshmark. Um, I only sell some stuff on my Poshmark, but everything goes to my Depop. My Depop name accounts. It'll be in the description box below. So yeah. That is it for this try on section. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I realized that I didn't cover everything I claimed to cover. Originally, I know, I know, but it's really just what I thought would interest you guys and just like what I thought would be interesting to try on, honestly. So what I haven't done yet still is bottoms because I don't intend on doing like anything too technical. Like I'm never, I'm not gonna do like swimsuits or pajamas or t-shirts, anything like that. Besides like a t-shirt that I wear like day to day, like some of the ones I showed you guys previously. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. It might be a while before I upload another one of these videos, but I plan on doing like more lifestyle content, stuff like that. I don't know if people like that, but now that school started, I'm gonna be a lot more busy. So stuff like this cannot be made as often, but lifestyle stuff, I can totally do. And of course, I'll always keep you guys updated on my fit checks. Okay, love you guys.